good morning once again dear students i hope you are all fine and healthy and uh, taking proper precautions uh today i would like to speak about uh, the role of media i mean the role of cinema as a medium for health communication i uh, i have already forwarded two articles on one on health health communication and one on cinema as a uh, tool for health communication okay i think already you must have received it today i have um, uh, yesterday i have delivered a lecture also that you will find um, uh, convenient to connect to okay now uh in the lecture there was a uh, line about uh, media for health communication okay now the question will be why i have chosen to emphasize on cinema for uh, health communication okay uh probably i have already said in the earlier uh, lecture that each and every medium is important no medium is less important or more important each and every medium has its own importance and significance for uh, publicizing anything okay we have to use all of them in a proper precise manner but i believe cinema has a some uh, better kind of advantage out of all the media okay at the same time we can't deny the importance of all the media in uh, this regard for uh, for any publicity matter uh, by the way today is 21st april uh i would like to send all of you my wishes for the national public relations day okay i hope you do good public i mean you do learn good public relations so that in future you can use it to a big extent for your personal as well as professional life and as you know pr is a good uh, avenue for professionalism let me give you a quote about uh, uh, the importance of film it was uh, i have seen it in a website about global health communication somewhere film or cinema plays a unique role in today's society it is an art form a language and educational tool a method of information delivery and a vehicle for social marketing it has the power to communicate stories to stir emotions to inspire to encourage action and to redress inequalities inequities in health okay Cinema is a very powerful audiovisual medium. Audiovisual media are already powerful. The cinema has a much better appeal than other kinds of audiovisual media. Okay. Uh let me come to the basics. Many years back, even we became independent, even before we became independent, there was a film called Dr. Kotnitsky Amar Kahani. I think it is already in the uh, article. uh there they have shown the life of a person who is an indian doctor who served in china around the plague times plague epidemic uh and uh, who has dedicated a very human service there in his uh, memory the film was made and the unfortunately the person lost his life while um, working there secondly i do remember seeing two movies uh, the kotnitsky amar kahani i haven't seen i could not see uh, but i have seen two other movies one is anand i think it might be familiar to you maybe your parents also or seniors right uh, it was produced in 1971 or 75 it is about a person who is terminally ill he is not going to survive and how he keeps himself quite in a jolly mood so that he can be a a uh, model for other patients okay uh amitabh bachchan and rajesh khanna were there and then again uh, i have seen another movie called mili and there also amitabh bachchan was there uh i saw it when i was in a lower classes of school in the film the heroine miss jaya badri uh she has some health complications which was so complicated at those points of time okay that was about 1970s that there was no cure for that in the country so finally uh she had to be flown to a foreign country for uh, treatment okay but the last line you, you must have seen films the the end comes last frame okay just before that there was a slide saying that uh don't worry this uh, this is is curable but you need just care and proper time for medication okay now 
then let us let me uh, let us come to under i mean let's jump around 20 25 years and come to uh, the last i mean last decade that is around 2003 4 in between there will be definitely other examples but uh, in 2003 i believe uh, for many of you, the very popular film called Munna by MBBS was uh, produced. And it has given a very unusual kind of approach about health and medical situation in the country. Okay. And how you can uh, win to a big extent a lot of diseases and cure diseases even or at least help in curing, facilitate in curing diseases by giving the personal care to the patients okay now that is why i mean that is why uh if this film has got a very nice uh, review in the uh, medical journal called british medical journal okay which is uh, very high in potential uh, in reputation about all medical journals across the world there the uh, reviewer has said that this film stands out uh, uh, because of the uh, uniqueness by which it is treating as well as which, which it is approaching and looking at the medical and health issue in the country okay now that is that is the way there will be many other such films or even including documentaries which will be dealing with some kind of health problems or health issues from time to time okay uh, on the other hand Many a times you will find that some of these, I mean, we, you can we can uh, divide these uh, films into two or three categories. One category is that which are actually just commercial movies, which are actually just commercial movies without any uh, orientation for uh, speaking about health issues or highlighting about health issues, but as a coincidence. Or it was a story simply for the producer that they have taken a story based on some health or medical issues. Say, for example, uh, Pa by Amitabh Bachchan and Abhishek Bachchan, and uh, say Rain Man, there is a movie from Hollywood, I will speak about it later on after it. And uh, My Name is Khan. I believe this is one category uh, in, many, in which the first category in which. The health issue, health or medical issue was not uh, the main issue, though the entire story was based on it, but uh, they, were, they were not supposed to create, I mean, they were not interested in creating, the, uh, I mean, the goal of creating awareness about that health or medical problem is not the primary goal of that movie. Okay. The secondly, there are some movies which are specifically made for highlighting one particular uh, health or disease or uh, health issue or disease or some kind of disorder. Say Pa Tare Jamin Par is a very good example. Then comes uh, Tare Jamin Par. Three Idiots. I won't say these are a directly health movie, but in a way it is a health movie both ways because it is talking about the mental health, the mental pressure of uh, the millions of Indians, youngsters across the country. You know, by this year, uh, next year, 2021, the population of young youths in India, that is 15 to 34 years of age, would be the maximum in India, uh, maximum in the world. So that is why we are being called, we are being termed as a young country by everyone. This young population is much more compared to uh, China, USA or anyone else. That is why Tare Jaminpur is also uh, no, uh, Tare Jaminpur is important and the three idiots is also I would like to categorize it as a specific feeling for communicating mental health as well as general health of the uh, youths. Okay. Now uh, there are many such movies, the examples of uh, there will be many ex such examples which will you will find very interesting uh, in this regard. I usually give you an example of the film called Erin Brokovich. Erin Brokovich. Erin or Erin Brokovich. It is a, not exactly a directly health related movie but uh, a lady 
stumbles upon some information which has some health implications. Well, uh, the lady uh, who was a lawyer, actually she was not a qualified lawyer also, but she was an assistant to a lawyer. So one day when she was uh, looking for some background, uh, background material for fighting a case, she stumbled upon some uh, files, I mean some documents, which were showing good evidence of some kind of malfunctioning by a large chemical company in an area in USA. When she dug up more and more of the information and she went to the field visits, or you can say that that is a background research, she found that the normal drinking water sources of the entire region, it is a big town, was actually contaminated by chemicals which were spilled out of that company's, um, what is it called, factory, like uh, Bhopal, the uh, methyl isocyanate issue. Okay. And she has organized all the people there and they fought for compensation and uh, they have shown proper medical evidence that these companies chemicals which were spilled to the fields were actually uh, responsible for a lot of abnormal diseases, abnormally increasing diseases in that area. So it is also a uh, health communication movie as well as a uh, activist kind of movie which is very important for uh, our discussion. Okay. Just at this point, let me say something about which the uh, Vice President Venkaya Naidu has said in 2016 while inaugurating the uh, 47th International Film Festival in India. He said that films should expose people to ideas, problems, developments happening in the society. Also, that it should illuminate the mind and heart, engaging the audience both intellectually and emotionally. They should expose people to problems, issues, ideas, developments happening in the society and make them think critically and look for alternative solutions and actions. In a country like India, with its severe and several social problems, a case should be made for social realism in our feelings. Okay. So you can understand the importance of feelings and you are already dealing with audiovisual media uh, to a very big extent. Uh, I have spoken to you about a movie called Rain Man slightly uh, earlier. It, uh, I have seen it while I was in college. Uh, this it features the very popular actor Tom Walter. Uh, no, sorry, Tom, not Tom Walter. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise of Top Gun fame, and uh, there was another very prominent actor, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman was a person who was autistic. Okay, but he had a very a uh, God gifted memory of uh, saying lucky numbers or making out what the others are thinking in the game of cards. Tom, uh, Tom Cruise is a merry go lucky person. He kidnaps Dustin Hoffman and he keeps touring the clubs at various places and playing um, what is it called uh, gambling. Right. But even though it is a uh, very popular and not very serious kind of story, it, is a, uh, entertain, it was an entertaining film as far as I remember. But uh, it was released in 1988 when I was in class 11. And in 2018, the Guardian newspaper of London has uh, made a review of the film for the last 30 years. I mean, what it has uh, caused in the last 30 years. From 2018, uh, it says that uh, the film was the best thing that has ever happened to autism. No gigantic public education or PR effort could have produced the sensational awareness that Rain Man has brought to the national and international radar scheme about that disease or um, um, disorder. This was written by Dr. Darrell Trefford, a commentator and expert on autism and who also worked in that film for, the, uh, for refining uh, the film's script. Okay. Now, you can imagine how film or audiovisual media can play an important role in this kind of situation. Okay. It has introduced people to the disease or disorder and it has created some interest of people uh, um, about it, then created awareness, then it has empowered people. Empowered people means pe uh, those parents with any kid 
with uh, such an issue, will be able to seek medical problem, med medical advice as well as uh, take necessary actions for further prevention of the situation uh, from going to a worse situation. And finally, action will be taken. Action will be, uh, I mean, positive action will be taken for arresting the problem and make necessary um, system in place. Take necessary system, uh, uh, make necessary system in place. I remember there was a uh, long-running TV serial in probably GTV or Star some time back, some years back. In fact, there was a very small girl who was autistic, and they also they uh, saw how uh, the parents were trying their best to uh, take medical advice for curing the kid. Okay. Now we come to something very interesting. Uh, feelings or cinema which have been able to successfully depict some very uh, odd situations. I am trying to refer to the film called Contagion in 2011 which was released in 2011. I have not seen the movie. I have seen only half or say 40% of the movie but uh, those of you, uh, I mean my uh, people known to me who have seen the film probably they are saying that it has exactly almost predicted the scene which is going on at present because of the COVID-19 situation. Uh, earlier in one of my lectures, I we spoke about risk communication. Risk communication means uh, how you are able to make people understand what kind of problems and risks you are going to face if you do not uh, take some. I mean, you, you, you do not take some precautions. I believe if we could have been prepared uh, with some steps or precautions after contagion, maybe we might have been able to prevent some damages which is happening because of the COVID-19 situation to a very big extent. Okay. And uh, that is the significance and talented uh, viewpoint or perspective of people who can think of the future. We always say in media that people who are dealing in media, the editorial people usually and the senior people, they are dealing with public affairs for such a long time that they can make a visualization that what is going to happen after 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. Similarly, if our medical fraternity as well as uh, media all of uh, us, if we could have utilized that cinema's, uh, that uh, contagion's example as a precaution for the future, maybe we might have been able to save the situation to a very big extent. Uh, let me tell you something here. In the 1930s, the Japanese government, uh, they became very aware of the power of cinema for public awareness and they started doing, I mean, utilizing it for propagating their nation's importance to the public, their public. Okay. So it was called, uh, they, they uh, asked people to make films called Bunka Aiga. I mean, they were, those films were supposed to uh, glorify the Japanese nation's history, glory, past, traditions, etc. So that people become uh, glued to them and they become proud of their country's traditions and legacy. Okay. Now media has two sides. One is positive, one is negative. Okay. Let me tell you about one a particular movie, Golmal, which is a very old movie, not a recent one. Golmal, uh, it was produced in 1979 with Rishikesh Mukherjee, with Amul Palikar and Utpaldar. What happens is, in the movie, Utpaldar is supposed to be a very old fashioned person. He is very critical of feelings, saying that feelings are always degrading the minds of the youth and it should be banned. There, Raj Bhakur, I think, was an actor who was shooting for a film and they have a son's meeting, in which again Utpaldar says the film is bad for you. Then Raj Bhakur makes a case for cinema and saying that there is not feelings which is making the youth bad, it's, we should take it in a positive stride. Okay. Now, uh, there is another thing, in Bangladesh 
there is an international organization which has tried feelings for social marketing. Well, uh, the first feeling they have made uh, was on family planning and later on, uh, yeah, uh, the first feeling was on literacy which was very well received by the people there and which prompted and encouraged them to make another film on the family plan, which was also very much uh, uh, finally accepted by the people there. So you can see, film has a way of influencing people in a much bigger way than anything else. Then, take this example by one uh, Kartik Sarma and Miss uh, Dr. Miss Poti uh, from uh, Orissa, uh, they have published a uh, research article in a journal, in a medical journal, which says that they are medical practitioners, they are into social marketing as well as uh, public health practice, community medicine practice. They have said that the power of cinema not only influences our knowledge but also beliefs of different quarters of the society. Essential power of cinema lies in making one think and absorb instances at a personal level. This goes in favor of better health communication through films. Okay, uh, it will be no exaggeration to state that no research publication has been able to achieve such a, such an impact. And they have specifically mentioned about Tare Jamin Per. Okay, for which is led to understanding about dyslexia and you know holistically empowering patients, caregivers, etc. Now, uh, you must be knowing about the film called Wiki Donor, which has introduced a subject which is somewhat an open secret, but which was supposed to be a taboo kind of thing for people in our country. Okay. Uh, there is a good effort to introduce people to that theme and that that can be a good profession as well as that uh, people who have a problem in having a child can take recourse to such an uh, activity. Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> now we come to two recent films. Yeah, uh, of course. Before that, let me also tell you about another film which was slightly older. Uh, that is my brother Nikhil, in which uh, I forgot the name of the actor, just have a look at the uh, article which I have given to you. There, uh, it was made uh, way back in 2002 or 3, and the timing of the film story was between 1984 and 87. In 87, I have passed my metric, so you can see so old a story it was. Those days, AIDS was creating a big havoc and menace like this uh, COVID-19 situation. Of course, somewhat less certain, but uh, a panic was there. I can tell it because I myself experienced such a situation during those days. Okay, I mean, I mean the uh, atmosphere. Okay, so there, uh, this film shows one person who was a very good sportsman. It is uh, supposed to be based on a true story. A young man who was a very good sportsman suddenly his uh, world falls apart when he is diagnosed as HIV positive and he is taken to a isolation uh, custody by the government of Goa okay. that was a, a legal necessity legal provision there and the trauma as well as the issues of isolation and uh, people's boycott people's uh, uh, making fun at him, etc. The uh, turmoil the person goes through, and the story the director tries to show it through the through a humanistic point of view. That was a, an eye opener for people with such a problem, and that something can be done with a humanistic touch was there. Okay. Uh, so very recently, this film uh, October, in which is a Borun Gavon is there and the uh, uh, actress, actor, uh, lady actor, I don't remember her name. Uh, the girl has a, a meets with her very major fall, accidental fall, and she goes into a coma kind of thing. Uh, but Borun Gavon, the hero, has a had a soft corner for the girl and he dedicates his uh, time for nursing the girl, nursing the girl to uh, 
better health. And he was so good at it. I mean, he was doing it so dedicatedly that the girl recovered to a very big extent. But suddenly, she dies again. So here, they have shown the director has been very successful in showing the uh, humanistic touch there, which can create uh, big differences when the moment comes up. Uh, let me tell you something here about two um, emerging trends. One is organized by World Health Organization. It is a festival called Health for All. See, in our society, individual health is important, but community health or social health is also important. Uh, if every <coughs> human being is behaving in a proper manner or practicing healthy habits, then automatically the society will be in a better state of health. But on the other hand, in epidemic and pandemic situations like now, that we are not supposed to meet, uh, we are not supposed to gather in groups and interact, we are not supposed to have large gatherings, etc. Even the community or the society does have a major role to play in not allowing such kind of practices to be carried out. The way I have already told you in an earlier um, uh, health communication lecture that when doctors were supposed to be applauded by clapping and uh, chiming on the bells, all the people, most of the people, many people came out on the streets and started many people that actually defeated the cause. So the community or the society itself also has a greater role to play in the kind of in the field of maintaining health of the community as well as the individuals. Okay. So that is why in uh, medical syllabuses you will find a uh, uh, you will find a chapter called detailed chapter called community medicine which is very important. Uh, World Health Organization, as it has understood the importance of uh, keeping alert the entire community and society, they have started, launched the uh, global competition called Health for All Film Festival. Uh, this was organized for the first time this year, I mean this year means 2020, and uh, almost 1300 submissions have been uh, filed by people from 119 countries of the world. Okay. Uh, the themes have ranged from challenges of providing healthcare to remote areas and countries in conflict, realities of living and battling cancer, courage and resilience of nurses and midwives, etc. in the most challenging circumstances. Uh, there are three categories, video reports, animation uh, or nurses and wives. And it will be of interest to you know, to know that this year, uh, WHO, I mean that is who has uh, declared, dedicated this year, the current year that is 2020, as the year of the uh, nurses and midwives in recognition of their dedication as well as support and service to the mankind in times of pandemic and epidemic situations. Okay. On the other hand, there is one organization called Planetary Health Alliance which is supporting a global health film festival since last one or two years. Uh, that is not exactly a human health, but it is related directly because if the global health, the health of the art is fine, then only the people will be able to survive. If today, uh, you know, the, how, why Greta Thunberg is uh, uh, campaigning for, she is campaigning for a greener art or a better art. And there are so many other people, even including Jadok Pine. Uh, earlier, Chipko movements, uh, HN Bohoguna, uh, SN uh, Sundarlal Bohoguna was there. So, this is a festival which is a film festival which is getting uh, uh, requesting for entries for ways and means and uh, uh, stories about how to save the art, how to care for the health of the globe, etc., globe or the art in itself. So that the future of mankind is safe. Okay, so there is the Global Health Film Festival which is also important. This year, there is a film called 2040 has uh, won the uh, main prize. It is a story of the future of the art and all its accompanying problems through the structured visual letter to a child by a person. Okay, 
So this shows the importance of how uh, the film is <coughs> uh, like other fields of journalism, in science journalism also you will need uh, to move around uh, for your sources. Okay, uh, you have to identify the areas where you can find a potential uh, source as well as potential information. Uh, in our region near Tezpur as well as Guwahati, you have so many uh, di different establishments like uh, laboratories. Uh, and other establishments like uh, Defense Research Development Organization. In Guwahati, you have Regional Science Center, uh, Rice Research Center near Guwahati, Hazu, I believe. Uh, then Assam Agriculture University has different uh, uh, research laboratories of different uh, subjects. Say one uh, is in Citrus Fruits near Dumduma, I believe. Uh, one is on rice in Titagore, etc. So many others. And regional rainforest research institute in Jurhat near Northeast Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, you have to then again universities, agricultural universities, general universities, veterinary colleges are there. They are also doing a lot of research in different fields. Now what you have to do is, if you want to make a career in science journalism later on, then you have to make a round of these organizations, identify the key people there who can give you some information and some important information which can be of use for the common people. Okay, So that you can write them and the people can take advantage out of it and improvise their lifestyle. Like we have to develop our sources in general fields of journalism, here also we have to develop our sources. Your sources will be the teachers, uh, researchers, laboratory professionals, etc. in these laboratories and in educational institutions. Again, there will be some people like Jadok Pain, S.L. Bohuguna, whom I have told you about uh, earlier. Then there is a person uh, whom, about whom I have read that uh, near Jurhat. Uh, he is successfully preserving uh, several hundred species of rice of the northeastern region and especially of Assam. Okay, uh, that will be an interesting story because uh, recently there was a quiz competition in uh, in Cygnus. Uh, one interesting quiz was that I think it is in Scandinavia or Norway where there is a sword, uh, place called Sardlosk or so where they have uh, established a very huge uh, silo and uh, a storehouse kind of thing where they are preserving a lot of rice and wheat varieties, uh, I mean uh, greens varieties from all over the world. Sardlovsky or Sardlovsk probably fine. So similarly, if that can make a big news, why don't this one where the person has been uh, trying to preserve and conserve the rice varieties of this region. Okay. Then again, uh, many years back, I have heard that nearby Hazu uh, area of Guwahati, uh, there was a very nice example of how joint forestry management activities were uh, taken up by the forest department of Assam and the local people. You know what is joint forest management? It is it's a scheme by which the people who are living on the fringes on nearby areas of the village uh, forest are allowed some amount of forest products to be uh, taken and consumed by them in return for protecting the forest on behalf of the uh, forest people. Okay, uh, see, it is not possible for forest people only to preserve or I mean to protect the forest every time. Every inch cannot be secure. Uh, the help of the local people who are in the vicinity or the periphery of the forest is very important. But on the other hand, as per the forest laws uh, of the country, you cannot take out any forest product out of any reserve forest of the country. But in this figure, just for the uh, sake of protection of the forest, some amount of understanding is there uh, given and they are allowed to take uh, some of the forest products out for their personal consumption, family consumption, not for commercial consumption. 
and in return they are supposed to keep an eye or keep a strict safeguarding of the forest okay so that can be done how um, uh, why how it is becoming so popular then uh, many of you must be knowing that near gualpara there is a place called dorongiri which is the, uh, one of the biggest banana markets in the country or even many people say even in the uh, asian continent okay even if it, it is not in the asian continent even if it, it is in assam uh, the biggest uh, banana market in assam you can write something on in why uh, it is so what are the conditions uh, which have made it possible why so much of banana comes there and if locally uh, whether i mean there is a big banana production around the place locally which is facilitating it etc okay so i mean there are numerous such issues on which you can write about of course you cannot write it in overnight but you have to have patience you have to develop your sources you have to keep your eyes and ears open and uh, your acumen journalistic acumen has to come to your help anytime one thing just now came to me uh, came to my mind uh, when we go to silong uh, i have been there probably last year uh, october uh, i have been there earlier also one thing strikes me that uh, on the both sides of the road i mean on the hills particularly lot of banana trees are there fine but uh, i hardly i mean of course i uh, go to silong just probably on official work or just once or twice not even twice probably once even in one year or two years usually i don't see bananas in those trees then one day i asked uh, one local person there that uh, what happens to these banana trees because if the fruits i mean the bananas would have grown there it could have been marketed he uh, he also could not give me a very convincing reply he also said he never noticed whether it grows or not but now if you can ask somebody from botanical uh, or botanical survey of india or any uh, biology uh, research laboratories whether uh, what kind of species of banana trees those are and uh, how much production they do give or i mean uh, yearly do they give one uh, fruit one pack of fruit or not that means whether uh, once a year a banana grows or not and if the banana grows what can be done and it is in such a big number the banana trees are in such a big number innumerable innumerable uh, trees are there so if uh, the fruits from bananas from all these trees could be extracted and marketed they would have been very huge okay you can't even imagine how much uh, products you will be getting okay so similarly uh, how various scientific development activities are taking place and what fruits they are bearing uh, say in guwahati regional science center is there how many people are visiting it how many people are visiting it just for fun and if somebody is learning something from fun uh, even out of fun uh, activities if the kids are learning something that itself will be a good feature or article okay so that way if you go to a veterinary uh, college hospital uh, there is uh, uh, the extension education department there if you can ask them that what are the latest livestock species that you have developed and uh, if you have made any experiments how the experiments are coming up say for example uh, new livestock species have been developed and it has been uh, given to people for experimental farming so out of the farming how much of the people uh, how much of the products are standing up to the medical scrutiny that means say 100 uh, such animals or livestock uh, products were prepared and if it was it they were tested again how much of them actually uh, turned out to be good enough or if the experiment did not yield the results it did not bring the give the results which were expected that itself will be a new uh, important finding okay
and will make a new good important news item or feature so that way our friends keep looking for things and report